Well, <laughs> good hey. afternoon, Free uh, Enterprise. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Um, if things seem a little weird, it's okay. It's just a wacky races restream. Nothing to see here. Move along. Yeah. Move along. Yeah, we're just a little wacky here today, guys. Yeah. But that's all right. It's good times. I'm Commander Leonard. I'm joined by neighbor Liana. And we have our racers Tybalt and Dathis showing off the Wacky Races Club. And guess what? Our Wacky today is Fist Fight. Do you like oh Yang? Do you like the way he fights? I didn't think so. Too bad. You're doing it anyway. <laughs> oh, oh, oh dear. Oh boy. Oh dear indeed. Yeah. So Yang, as you might know, handles attacking and fighting very differently from a lot of other people. He ignores his weapon power. He just looks at his raw stats, and that's what his damage is based on. Very unfortunate for him. Yeah. Also very unfortunate for the entire party today. <laughs> Unless right. you have magic. All right, because they are all going by those rules, and that's... Why Tybalt has, as his sentence, no spears or stabs or hammers. <laughs> but what about magic? Fine. Hi. Uh... Uh-oh. Little last-minute naming there from Dothus, but that's okay. <laughs> Very many themes there, and I believe the main theme there is all characters who use their fists to fight. Like Saturn. Yeah. Ursula. I'm not familiar enough with some of the other games to call out Ingus, for example. Tifa. Yeah, sure. Tifa. And funnily enough, Zell. who's our look at our starting character? Yang? Go figure! It, it, it's almost... Oh wait, they didn't plan it that way. It just worked out. I'm a little disappointed that they should have planned it that way. <laughs> very ironic, since it's a flag set that's very based around him. Especially with our wacky. Yeah. Three Yang kits to start out life with. Very fun. Very sad. And, these are and we are off! Wee! Who's our partner? Callum, the quack kid. Magic. Uh, Zeus gloves? <laughs> you know, I've got a young with twin cat claws and the Zeus gauntlets. Suddenly I'm not afraid. Seems, seems fine. Yeah. Just let It'll young hit fun. things. It'll be a fun race. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be great. Oh, wacky, wacky. At least we have some source of magic already. Not quite healing magic, but it really doesn't matter. We have magic. We don't eh. always have to rely on our fists. Healing magic is overrated. Just kill him fast. Right? If One HP was... in a dream. Yep. If only it was that easy. There's already such quick divergence, specifically mm -hmm. with Tibble possibly going for that free key item check. And a nice little Mount Hobbs. Yeah, Death is either ignoring or not caring. Yeah, so it's been a what while since got, I've Eddie? done this wacky. I'm watching Palum equip Cat Claws and I'm going, huh. Okay. We have a Luca key on Tybalt's side from Edward. And there's an objective already. Hello, Kane. Welcome to the party. Dathis? Like Dathis? Putting Kane in this party? More likely than... Huh, so would know. And now you get to see this in all of its glory. <laughs> right. Because... Oh, uh, yes. 
CPU gets to hide in the back row, and when all you can use are claws, it's very, very difficult to actually get into the back row. Kane's jump is going to come in real handy here. Jumping. Very nice. Very beautiful. Very powerful. Sometimes. Very useful and now. Was, when... Yeah. Yeah, very, very useful very now useful. when you need to get into the back row. Yes, indeed. And just like that, death is through, the CPU is taken care of. Punched the poor thing to death. Very unfortunate. Look, it knew what it did. It know it yeah, it knows what it did. <laughs> Tibbled in the meantime is taking some time to get some shopping done. He's in the life potions. Still at their wonderful 150 gold piece price. Yay! Uh, for those of you confused by that statement, the uh, beta site of the uh, next update is out, and spoilers, life potions are going to become expensive. You're going to really hate us for this one, guys. Yeah, you are. But we, gotta, we had to bump them off. Listen, I get we had it. to bump them off. I get it. They're double XP on so many things. They're great. I understand. I personally hate shopping. But one of the things I will buy is, you know, a good stack of 30 life potions so I can forget about it. And that is no longer an automatic decision. Or an early one, for that matter. Had a little bit of inflation in our, you know, our potions this time around. Alright. Or you could buy 30 before. Unfortunately, now you have to buy 10. Or the 15. We have a sparkle in Antlion Cave. It is Pale Dim. There's a nice little Pale Dim here to say hello to us. Yep. And the signature theme of Pale Dim. Give us a beautiful <laughs> rendition, Leonard. Thank you. <laughs> Many... Many, many do do many, many do doots from this pale dim, but it's down right. now. I feel like it's only fair when you're fighting pale dim in a trouble slot to cast slow on it twice. Look, wow, guys, hmm. underground access. Who would have known? Yeah, Mitch. oh, this is the beautiful, beautiful hook from Antlion Cave. Yeah, which creates the interesting the to go with it. Sure. A shield. Yay. Um, that's money a on this shield. flag set, right? And you can't equip yeah. anything but claws. Oh, one of our objectives is get Cecil. So we have to get the Baron Trio. Very yeah. fun. Yeah. Got the Baron Trio. And... Is that Cecil? Huh. I feel like there's one too many objectives on the track. Is there? I'm not entirely sure. Eh. I just know my job's to commentate. <laughs> All good. Yeah. Just a blab. Flag, yeah, flag set says get Rosa and six random objectives. So yeah. I think Very we stop fun. at Kane. If only we had a sass. I mean, I'm always a fan of the guy. Uh, you know, give me a power couple and just let me go loose. Although, fist fight definitely takes a lot out off of Cecil, but cover is still a nice thing to have. Can't use darkness because we don't have a sword for him. Sorry, Cecil. Normally that'd uh, be good AoE, but you don't have it this time around. Oh, Baron asking. Castle is very... Mmm, a hook. <laughs> Tybalt asking the real oh, questions fetters. at... You know, Tybalt asking the real questions at the moment with his party. What spears? What are spears? What are spears indeed? 
now both runners officially have their hooks. Yep. Which is very nice. It is. Oh, da water da hag. Yeah, Death is finding a water hag in uh, Mist Cave. That's not too exciting, because, well, we'd rather have water hags somewhere where we have to fight him in what would otherwise be a difficult. Yes, indeed. I'd rather I'd rather see a water hag chilling at Murasame Altar, for instance. Right. That I think that's work. one of our objectives. Now Tibble's gonna get the news. What's what's that Pokemon? It's a water hag. <laughs> A charm claw. Charm claws are very nice to have. Swoon. Pibble's a fan. <laughs> very much. And now Dothis is going to get the news that hey, would you like a Luka key? No? Too bad. You're taking it anyway. Yep. There you go. And you never know. Uh, no, I, I I got nothing for this Luca key. It's, it's really just sad. We do have a warp glitch on, right? I am unsure. Do we? Well, you know what? Oh I'm gonna go over into the chat and type details. Haha. -ha. We do not we have do a warp glitch have... on. Ha! We only have we only have life, sylph, and back row. So we might need that Luka key to complete an objective. Who knows? There's hope. There is slight hope. The thing is, they can still scam their way out of it by doing a bunch of warping since they have Palom. Or maybe they'll be like you and have to do the armadillo grind. Well, not on this wacky. Not on this wacky, unfortunately. We just witnessed the Blarg go down. Goodbye, Blarg. For a Cecil. Speaking of Cecil. Ah, yes. An elements battle. Could be in an uglier spot. It'll be over soon. Hopefully. Yeah. Could, could be a little spicy. We'll see, but Palom has magic, and that's good. Dathis apparently expecting a transformation. Waiting on that ice, too, but it's just not... There we go. That's what he wanted. Is that punch from who? And that takes Ooh. care of that. A tiara over there. That's, that'd be useful for someone like Rydia, if we even find Rydia. And there's the vanilla baron. Mm, vanilla. Mmm, I love vanilla. From here, now there's two objectives currently available to Dolphus. Liberate Baron Castle, and defeat the Baron Castle Basement Throne. I wouldn't be surprised to see him go straight for liberating Baron Castle. The Basement Throne might be a little out of reach, but you might take a look in case there's something you can steal off of the easy boss there. That would have been a good place for a water hag. Mm, yes, that would have been a good place for a water hag, but no, there's a Golbez. And on our hook route, Tybalt is finding Sid and some sort of sparkle. Hmm. Ogopogo. Yeah, Ogopogo's the dream. But if it turns out that it's a wyvern there, we know there's a magma somewhere on the overworld because you cannot have your only path underground blocked by Golbez, Wyvern, or Valvalis. There has to be another way. Pogo Pogo in a dream. Snick. There are some that say Ogopogo should be put on that list, but realistically, it's a very tough spot, and it's what makes Hook Route so dangerous. If you're going to put Ogo on that list, you've got to consider some other options. 
Kainazo in the ruby spot is a real rite of passage, for example. Thing. Yeah, that thing. It scares me sometimes. Uh, that that's perfectly fair. <laughs> Not as bad as Kainazo at elements, but anyway, uh, Dathus is heading up ordeals. Up up Mount Stinky, the Forbidden, the the Cursed Mountain. Many names for this mountain. They all serve the same purpose. It might get your key item. It might have your objective. Last but not least, if you've got a Cecil, have a Paladin. Yeah, and even if he can't equip the swords in this wacky, he can at least cover. And that might be a big part of Dathus's motivation here. That's a Mylon. Is it a vanilla Mylon? Or a French vanilla? Mmm, French vanilla. Uh, oh, Rydia Caller? Like yeah. yeah, French and all. Rydia Caller, you say that you're sorry if it turns out to be back attack, Val, but are you? Are you? They all serve the same purpose. Back attack, Val. <laughs> Maybe a little sorry. That. <laughs> That's fair. Especially with fist fight. But we have a cane. We just jump, knock her over yeah. wall. We It'll can deal. Fine. Everything will be fine. It'll be now back attack play. <laughs> back attack play is That's more like, a, all right, I'll get you on the second trip, but I'm probably out of luck now. Especially if I have a fast anger. <laughs> what do we got? Oh, we've got Ruby. Ruby. <laughs> Hello, back Ruby. Wonderful to see you. Ruby Conte. Well, those will be some can't. really rude. Ruby can. <laughs> yeah. Those are going to be some really rude uh, glares, and the uh, fire two is also going to be a bit of a thing. But we can get around that simply by never using the fight command. What's the fight command? Things you shouldn't be using here. <laughs> Unless you're Yang. Ah, uh, no. Yang can use power. And we'll use power, and we'll see. And there's that glare. Bam. Oh. <laughs> oh. Foul. Blarg just went down on Tybalt's side. Sorry, Blarg. Blarg number Blarg Jr., I'd say. <laughs> Friendo Blarg. More friendly version of the Blarg. Down goes Rubicon for Dothis. We get to see. Is this a key item? Or is this just nothing? Meanwhile, Let's give you a moon Meanwhile, Tybalt is cleaning up Baron in and getting his own Baron key. Very so nice. Our runners have achieved parity in objectives and key items for a brief moment in time as they all have their hooks, their Luka keys, and their Baron keys. All things are right in the world. This shop could yield something very nice. It could. It's just cat claws. It's... <laughs> I mean, for this flag set, you know, you want cat claws, right? Ten cat claws. That seems cat like claw. the plan. Cat claws. I was so busy so and raptured by the cat claws that I completely missed if death has got a key item. Uh oh. Uh, chat? Yo, help. did he get the key item? Chat? <laughs> help? Chat. 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 I know you're watching. Ah, thank you, Darkness Gretham. Crystal. That, that, that seems important. <laughs> Dathis now has a darkness crystal. <laughs> Very pretty. What a beautiful crystal. And only a doll's fight, which became, which is very simple. Mm-hmm. 
And they all so learned we'll... Mateo. Who's Mateo? I don't know. What's Teo with you? No, wait. That doesn't work. Anyway. Tybalt. Tybalt turning oh. on random encounters. Tybalt, what are you doing? Um, saying hello to Senator Crocodile for the memes? Or getting a... Huh. What are you doing? Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I have questions. I'm, I'm sure Tibble has a reason. That I have many questions. Why is this bad? What 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 does that mean? Well, mainly it's just that Tibble's taking time doing something and has some sort of purpose, and I have no idea what it is. That's all. Wait, I know what he's doing. He's preparing for the Golbez fight. Ah, good call. Good call, yes. Golbez did Golbez hand over our initial key one. item. Yeah. The comedy man. All right, since you figured it out, you want to explain to everybody why this has anything to do with an upcoming Golbez fight? Oh, my. So, would you like to meet a dragon named Shadow? So you see Shadow here. Depending on how many party members you have, he'll eat your party. With this specific party, he will eat three characters. So technically, if you are mini pigged or you are on the floor, Shadow might not eat you. You won't eat you because he has nothing to eat. Only two characters will be left standing. And that is why Tybalt only has two characters alive. Specifically, Sid and Yang. Yeah, so it's not just a time save for dodging Shadow Dragon, it's making sure that the two people he most wants alive are the ones that are ready to take on Golbez after Shadow Dragon decides he's full. Yes, he's full. Oh my goodness, look at him! We're so close to a playable Golbez, guys. And cue the ha ha ha! Is that all? Tibble chomping at the bit, waiting, like doing little bits of inventory management as the timer's ticking. Now. <laughs> Wait till you see the real terror. Now do you get my ah. impression voice ready? Real time shadow. <clears throat> okay. Ah, the terror. <laughs> Look at him. Look how terrifying he is. Look at him. He's gone. I mean, there's no clapper. Guess he's fool. I'd be yeah. fool too, Shadow. Don't worry. <laughs> cabins. Dathis has found the cabins. Yay, cabins. Mmm, cabins. I, I don't like shopping, but I do like having cabins. It's It's a conundrum for me. I acknowledge it. Mm, cabins. Better than tents. Because cabins, you actually have some very solid beds. Right? It's important. Yeah, sleep is very, very important. So is taking good care of your back. You don't believe me now. Yes, indeed. You will. Do the Jedi mind trick. Make them believe you. <laughs> 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 so happy this is a laid back commentary stream. Right. <laughs> Harm Claws in Fabul makes sense. Yeah, I believe it. Also, Poison Claws if you want to drink throughout. <laughs> would you like to poison everybody? Because I know I sure would. Not like Kefka, guys. I'm not like Kefka. Or are you? Anyway, Poison Claws uh, also I give you three points to strength, which, you know, isn't the worst thing in the world. Star veils in that shop. Very beneficial to have in case you run into something like Wyvern. Blarg. Yes. Asura. <laughs> yeah. Although that's more Asura's of a double. Ugly boss 
It's more of a double veil to get the wall on her, but you do what you gotta do. Tybalt decides he would not like to run the risk of doing this. Oh, I thought Tybalt was gonna go save. He's just gonna rest. It looks <laughs> it looks like in our flag set we have Witchburn on. Oh, okay. So that's cool. Bathus, meanwhile, is defending the wool and finding Odin present. Hello, Makes Odin. you wish you had a thunderclaw. And again, that's... we do have well, we have Palum here. Blit too. Zappy. We'll take it. We'll take it. So yeah, Tybalt not saving. Tybalt just needing recovery. <laughs> On to the throne room. Like, what's the worst that could happen? It's a wyvern with a Reset. terrible, terrible, oh, terrible oh. witchman. Ah, it's just Octoman. Whatever. Only a lunar staff for Dalthus. Uh, no sad. key item, no nothing. Zonk. Hmm, wine. Bacchus wines. Tasty, tasty wine. I wonder, I wonder what that, I wonder what it tastes like. Tibble's declaration is now hammers. What? I want spears. You don't get either. No. I want spears! <laughs> Gotta love seeing the sentences these guys can make up with their names. Yes. It's a good Funny time. one sometimes. Good times. Good times in the booth today. I this might be on a claw hunt. And sure enough, picks up a couple of ice claws. Mm, yes, claws. Take a moment while we're in here to check the bed character. Um, some manner of twin, but it was too quick a look for me to be sure it's, whether it's it was twin. whether it was Porum or a Duke Palum. Well, there's our Porum over there in Baron, having a white nice day. Okay, Goodbye, so it's hammers. Definitely a Duke character in the bed. That's fine. Athos making his way over to Baron Castle now. They're just going to no. give each other some high fives before just, they leave. Just, just going to save. And just going to give a couple high fives. Oh. Back to Tro back to Taroya. Why are we back here? Is the Nothing, it looks like. The bolt finds a Yep. We have a pass, so Tybalt gets the pass for the item and gets the objective Liberate Baron Castle completed. Yes, indeed. Very mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. But will he do the throne? He's going for it. Yeah, you take a look. If y'all know Tybalt, <laughs> if y'all know Tybalt, you know how he plays. Uh, he Tybalt is. Save. Yeah. Tybalt is a gambler. But even so, I, I like the check here anyway. If it's something rude that you can't deal with, you keep it in mind that you want to take it at some point, and you just might find out it's something simple. Dr. Lugay, kind of in the middle. Tybalt decides to take it later. I ain't dealing with this crap today. Mm -mm. Funny thing, if you can get through to the second part, and you have enough star veils, you're home free. You just might not like how long it takes. Everything that Dr. Luggage throws at you in the real fight can be reflected by a star veil, although the laser will not hit him. <laughs> what will it hit? Uh, not, we don't know. Some say the lasers are still traveling through space to this day, and that they might hit some civilization light years and that we're fundamentally altering their development by bombarding them with Dr. Lugay's lasers, but I think it's just a massive conspiracy theory. This is why I wanted to calm, do comms with you. <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying it too. Thank you. I mean, I'm all there for the conspiracy. I mean, what else is going to distract us from the chemtrails from the other lasers? Good 
point. Airships don't have chemtrails. Checkmate. Oh my goodness. Are, are you sure about that? Is, or is that what they want us to think? Have you, do you see any chemtrails on this screen? No. No. We are, then again, we don't have our airships at the moment. We start with the Enterprise. <laughs> We're not in them at the moment. Yes, it's, it's, it's true. This but is what happens. Th this is what happens when uh, the runners are on crisscross, and um, you know we all already know what's going to happen because we've seen it before. But it's also a good time to thank our runners, Tybalt and Dathis, for putting on this lovely show for us, running around with the memory that is this tonight, and also to thank the crew for being here. Radio Caller taking care of things on the restream. Kiora Mare handling things, tracking, and Nehru Liana joining me here in the booth. It's, it's all it's always be it's always amazing to be in the booth with somebody. It's always amazing to be in the booth in general. Thank you, Leonhard, for being here with me today. Happy to be here. <laughs> Dathis also made sure to set up for the Golbez fight, coming in with only two people standing. Me too. Well, it's a very good play to make, especially when you already know that, hey, Golbez is here. He, at least yeah, he's not going to be a very unpredictable boss. Yeah, I'm kind of a... Ruby. Yeah. All right. We got kind of a mirror here with capes on one side and capes on the other. So, given that this is Final Fantasy IV, that doesn't really narrow it down all that much. Cape, cape. The Meantime, power of the shadow. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that I know that. I. It's a very on-the-spot Mickey Mouse impression. I'm sorry, I tried. <laughs> I'm here for it. <laughs> Guess he's full. Mm. Let's end this. We shall end this indeed. And there's our darkness crystal over there for Tibble. Yep. Very tasty. <clears throat> I didn't say that. What does a darkness mm. crystal take like? I hope it tastes like dark chocolate. Oh, I feel like it like I kind of want black crystal, licorice. I like... Oh, I like that choice. Mm. Nom nom nom. Crunchy. <laughs> Y'all are And funny. yeah, that is a great Mickey Mouse impression. I mean, at least when you do voices, it does sound like a character. I just sound like a Japanese girl. <laughs> <laughs> or a haunted creepy doll. Those are my voices. I, I only have two modes. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to get you to I do something do for Cal Brenna then. <laughs> Mr. Goldberg's help! There's many different modes to me. You either get, it sounds like there's a siren coming for you, it sounds like there's a demon in your walls, Mickey Mouse, or just normal little Mene. I'm speechless. I'm without speech. No speech. <laughs> no time for speech. No time for speech, only watch. <laughs> no, it's, you know, it's very occupying to watch these runners to the point where sometimes we can forget commentary exists. We can forget we're commentating. We're just enthralled by the way they're playing. Octomom! Yep, on the Baron Throne. That's about to be the second objective for Dathis. Once he gets through this and picks up his pass. In a Passes little while, nice. in a little while, I imagine Tybalt's going to take his darkness crystal and go launch the whale, but for now, he's defending the pool. Man, give Judge Joe his seed and he'll be up to the moon in an instant. I mean, yes. <laughs> He's Joe. He doesn't, he doesn't right. know when to quit. What he does. <laughs> His job is to go to the moon. 
blow up the moon, come back to the blue planet, and then blow up the blue planet. It it works. There's a lot of XP up work. on the moon. You just have to be able to take the fights when you get up there. Which is a credit to Judge Joe. How goes Octoman on Dolphus' side? Soon he'll retrieve his pass. Gotta love having that. And here comes our Porum into the party. Our first actual white mage. If you don't include Cecil and his very limited healing magic. Cecil is the best exit mage around, but that's about all I'll say for his white magic. Yeah, he's his only use is for, with his white magic is exit. No hate to Cecil, but... Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I, I, I've been known to <laughs> shut down a poison walk with him, but it... <laughs> Mostly it just feels bad mm, that I'm having to shut down a poison wall in the first place. I've had drive me batty with the sound of that poison walk before. Uh. It's all in good fun. And there is the lunar whale launch we were all waiting for from Tivil. Yes. But the question is, will he go up? And Dolphus is about to get the news of what's sitting on the basement throne. Just it's been, imposing. Right. It's been a lot of divergence and crisscross, but our runners are both at about the same time, having done all of the things you really could do in the overworld. Dr. Luggage, and it looks like Dolphus is taking the battle. Ooh. Spicy. Very spicy. Charm claw. Ow! 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 Ouch! Not me. <laughs> Them over there. Grr. That's how I feel. Come on. <laughs> I feel like this has been a lot of nice animes. <laughs> yeah, it's always, nice. it's always nice to be in the booth when it's just a chill day, like wacky races. Yeah. Tiny kid, giant robot. Hmm. Very interesting. So I must Tibble. oil you. <laughs> Tibble did oil. end up going to the moon. Grab the moon. some hourglasses out of the shop there. Do you have anything else to do up here? I mean, sure, you're going to check the character. But are you going to go after the hour, the hair dryers? Or are you going to go to Cave Value? How involved is this moon trip? What, what you got there, Tibble? A dupe! No! <laughs> Another palum! You, know, you can never have too many palums, guys. You can never have too many palums. And it looks like dupes is turned on. Oh, it would seem. But Tibble does not want an extra quack kid around. Seems happier with his current party. Oh, curse strings for sale in the armor shop in the back of Agart. It's a tough shop to check because the NPCs like to block you from getting there and leaving. Though at least with exit, leaving will be easy. Yes, indeed, because Cecil has one job. Aside from cover. Teleport. Exit. <laughs> you know what to do, Cecil. Get us out of here. I mean, for me, Cecil has another job. To look at me in disappointment when I try to cast Berserk on him because I forgot that I gave him crystal armor. Give him his, give him his Avenger and call it a day. He's tired. Uh, that's fair. That, that, that gets around the crystal armor issue. 
<laughs> he, need, he wants his Avenger back. He's sad. <laughs> Air dryers. Yeah, Dathus. Right, looks like Dathus is not even going to make a trip up to the moon for the character or anything else, and is ready to head underground. This means he's going to see the news of his sin. The thing is, will he commit to the hook route? There's not much choice left, is there? <laughs> <laughs> you could there moon dive. Be. You could moon dive, sure, but oof. Mm, you can't get feels... any box wines. How sad. No wine for you. Mm, box wine. I'm sorry. Mm. Flashback. Um. Well, the drain spheres will be more interesting if we had a ninja to throw them. Ass was in the barren trash. I guess that counts as vanilla. If you turn on K vanilla, that's where you find it. I'm counting it. Ha. Though the true vanilla location is in a shop in um Poria. Alrighty, Darkness was at Mount Ordeals. The hook was at Antlion? And the Baron key was vanilla in Baron Inn. Yeah, Tybalt's being very involved with this moon trip, which makes sense. Well, wow, very strong air. Woo. This laptop just decided it wanted to go poop. Mood. Well, welcome back. Glad this you made laptop. it back. Oh, we have a sparkle in cave value. Tybalt so <laughs> <Tibble. gasps> says, I, I do not need to know about the sparkle. Goodbye. I found out Blakey. all all I need to know. Time to head back on down to like... Earth. What? But what if good item? But what if long time to get item? Too bad. <laughs> Just while we're here, hey chat, have you been hydrating? Have you been eating a snack? If not, go get food and go get a drink. We'll You're still back. be here for it. Uh, yes, snack. Aaron Lore. Um, how are your friend and mine, Dr. Dialogue, is on the throne. Athos made an attempt but ended up resetting out. Tybalt just immediately said, nope. <laughs> I ain't dealing with that today. Mm -mm. The Mad Ogres. So, funny story about Mad Ogres. You can swim those things real quick. Yeah, like, anything, like, they don't have any sort of death immunity. Throw a coffin at them. And if your timing's right with a magic, with a assassin dagger, you can get your kill. But Cat Claw has sleep as its proc effect, so if your timing is right, you'll put the Mad Ogres to sleep by hitting them with those. Honk. Honk. And we see life glitch at work here. Double the fun, double this the XP. We, life this is why we brought up your life potions, guys. Because you kept doing this. Honestly, I would rather just, you know, turn 
I'm, I'm fine with you turning G Life off. I just don't want to pay that much for life. <laughs> I can live with that more, which is definitely some kind of commentary. The commentary is I hate shopping. Um, that that's it. Yo, what's shopping? I don't know how to shop. How do we shop? Just go to S Cabins and call it a day. Yeah, makes sense. S Cabins T nothing. T empty. Ah. S Cabins T money, just to rub it in. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm a bad man. Anyway. Listen, it's a, it's gotta be a little <laughs> funny sometimes. Uh. And down go the mad ogres because, listen, if it's a key item, it's a key item. Well, it's not going to be a key item. We don't have K-M-I-A-B on. Um, it could be a nifty item. We don't have K-M-I-A-B on. No, we don't. Vanilla Giant. Hoping that Rose and Dark Elf are there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I would say there are two types of people in chat, but really, no. There's only one type of person. Chat always chooses violence. <laughs> Listen, there's sometimes there's really sweet people in the chat who are just like, oh, I don't want this, but most of the time, both commentary <laughs> and chat is hoping for down is hoping for the runner's downfall. That's Not in a mean way. Not in a mean way, but it's gotta be fun. It's gotta be a fun commentary. Not in a mean way, but in a here we are now entertain us kind of way. Something like that, yes. <laughs> Give us entertainment. Here's a Sura. Hopefully we have those star veils. <laughs> What's their lineup looking like? Spirits, fight, no, I want what? <laughs> that works. Aaron Lore has correctly called out the two types of people in chat. The people that want violence, and the people that want violence and know the options for violence. So in short, the option for violence is... Uh... Make sure that you call the correct boss. Ogle Pogo. Snack. The no uh, rope. <laughs> I just want the moment of panic when it's Wyvern and we all go, uh, what did we all miss? This can't possibly be a Wyvern. Danger Noodle. Now that is a blarg. <laughs> a very big blarg. <laughs> We have not seen Turtle yet. We haven't seen our favorite turtle. And speaking of that turtle, when I was little, when I first saw the sprite, I thought the ears on the sprite were the eyes, and I thought like the actual glowing blue eyes were the nostrils. And now that I've realized that the glowing blue eyes are eyes, and what I thought were eyes are ears, I will never see Kenyazo the same. There are a few sprites from various Final Fantasy games that have done the same thing to me. <laughs> have I ever claimed that I'm a good person, Aaron Lore? No, Aaron Lore. Pray for you downfalls. Have not. <laughs> <laughs> you pray for downfalls. And Tibble's going back to save, just in case this is a wyvern. wyvern Always be or a danger noodle, honestly. Um <laughs> all Always be saving. Danger noodle. ABS, the nope rope. <laughs> Once you learn where Z's eyes are, it's interesting. I don't know where Z's eyes are, and personally, not, I don't want to. I'm know not ready for that sort are. of curse knowledge. No. Please. <laughs> Aaron Lord, don't do this to me. I'll cry. I'm not crying on stream. He's all eyes on. What is it? I'm calling nope rope. Nope rope? Like. Not a nope rope. Neither! It's D Lunars! Man. That's it's not. It's Skelly fun. Brothers! Yay! Like them. They're cute. 
Oh yeah, just so y'all know, if you hear any extra voices in the commentary booth, it's because it's Wacky Races. If you have a comment, say your comment. Because we're fun. This is a fun restream. That's why yeah. we get to make silly jokes and references and random voice impersonations. Because it's uh, not against the rules. Nope. It looks like Dathis bounced off the Asura and is at the least heading back for Mad Ogres, but might just be heading back out entirely looking for an option. Meanwhile, Tybalt showing off breath strats, put up some reflect, let the breath bounce back. And as long as it hits them both, you're home free at that point. Ah, yes, they're toads now. Don't mind them, guys. They're just having a good day. You could never cast Toad on, on D Lunars and make it work, but their breath bypasses those safety, the boss bit that all bosses come with. Sometimes, guys, we gotta bypass the boss bit because we don't want to deal with it. Sometimes we're just tired of it. Boss bits can be boring. Back it. Wait, yeah, Dol Dolphus might just be backing out of that. Yeah. Um, I missed exactly what the issue is. I'm going to guess Star Veils. You need. Unless you can life lock Asura, which is a real problem at that fast a spot, you need to get a wall on her so that she's not constantly healing herself. And yes, if you can't so cast she wall. Herself. Yeah, and if you can't cast wall directly, what you have to do is use the Star Veil on yourself and then use it on yourself again to bounce it off. Trust me. When a Sura starts healing herself, it's annoying. Especially on this flag set. Because there's no way we're surpassing the amount of damage she heals with the amount of damage we deal. But down goes the D-Lunaris for Tibble. What is your reward aside from a falcon? Wait, I think it's only a falcon. Your reward is a pitfall. It is not optional. It is not optional. You have to go through it. Sorry, guys. A pitfall? Heck yeah, it's a pitfall. Down we go. What I noticed is that in within push speed to jump, if you jump around that room a little bit, you're going to <laughs> notice one crystal missing. There is a crystal missing, and there is a door in the far back that takes you farther back into this peculiar Tower of Babel. And when you go through that door, it takes you out to where you previously fought Rupa Contact in Vanilla. Y'all should explore Push Me to Jump, because it's a very, very fun little thing to have. Uh, yeah, you can, um, you can definitely, uh, what am I trying to say here? <laughs> save often, yes, save often. Yes, save often with uh, Push Me to Jump. You will break your game, especially if you're trying to experiment. Yes, it's, it can be very, very risky. Tibbled has made it underground and has drawn it straight to Dwarf Castle. Even without... Oh, I see the eye now. Even without a warp glitch on, there's still a character check here that could be the Rosa for the objective, and you've still got the regular key item. Mm, yes, key item. I love key items. Yeah, that Z sprite's weird now that I know where the eyes are. Why does it look like that? So here's the real question, Aaron Lore. Uh, the form of Zeromus before the true colors are revealed. Where are the eyes? He's essentially, like, Zeromus is essentially just a mop. Right? Just a really big very, very overgrown mock. 
At least Fusoya is manageable. Or maybe a Chia pet for something the size of the Colossus of Rhodes. Um, Very big Chia pet. Yeah. <laughs> That's a massive Chia pet. Tibble, oh, Tibble messing with us. <laughs> oh, Tibble, wow. Oh, Tibble. <laughs> I'm a rental clerk. <laughs> Tibble goes in, Tibble, checks all the chests, leaves, comes back in, talks to the non job dwarf, leaves, and finally goes back in. <sighs> Uh. <laughs> Brunter, I'm never going to unsee what you've said. I'm going to cry. I'm going to sob. Thank you. I've just, I've already closed. I've decided not to look. <laughs> Don't look. Don't look. No, You'll never unsee it. Ah, You'll that's never, the plan. Ever unsee it. That is the plan. Unfortunately, when racing free enterprise, you rarely see the actual sprite. But more on that later. Yes, indeed. We'll get, we'll, get, we'll get into that later on. Still a little too early for us to be dropping the steel. Yeah. Just a little bit too early. We're watching a Fame Arch dive. Interesting. Mm -hmm. well, we'll take the, the freebie. The free key item. Yeah. Yeah, the freebie and maybe a little check to see what the boss is. It'd yeah. be funny if Dark Elf was there be hilarious. What's our item? Pink tail. Earth Crystal. Okay, Earth Crystal opens up two other possible characters and another boss check. Yeah. And it also lets us maybe rate the treasury. <laughs> rate that treasury! Uh, no record? Same. Yes. Like, his hand just happens to be right there at the star. This can't be a coincidence. And yet, apparently, it was. Um, Fame Arch well, consists... Well, surgery can be nice. Yeah. Yeah? Uh, Fame Arch consists of a blue robe that we know is a gauntlet. Right? We've seen Waterhag? Yeah, Waterhag was in Mist Cave. And a sparkle that could be a few different. Have a nice food, Aaron Lore. Pass some over for me before I start eating the put the buttons off the tracker. A little hungry. Just a little. We're just checking in with Yang real quick, just to see if he's having a good day. We might not have the pan, but we can still get Sh Sheila one by telling Sheila, "Hey, hey, Sheila." Your husband's in the underground. What are you gonna do about Hanging out with some interesting fairy type creatures who are very insistent on taking care of him. It's, 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 we're not quite sure what to make of it. Yes, it's very peculiar, but he's, he seems fine. Tibble doing one of my all-time favorite grinds. I like to scramble eggs. It's my favorite thing that I just learned how to do not too long ago. <laughs> it's a good grind. Uh, especially when you've got coffins and you can guarantee taking them out. One thing you don't want to do is hit the egg and not kill it. It gets very angry. Yeah, I learned that the hard way too recently. Yeah, so. We all do. We've all been there. <laughs> Been there, done that. Uh, yeah. That is indeed how you get hit by lightning. Radio caller, you're not wrong. <laughs> Dragon also eats your face. Just, just so much, so much pain.
What? He is in the underground. Yes! One of my favorite vanillas. The vanilla pan. Because I'm an evil person. Um, so a lot of runners like to wait on going to Sylph Cave until they have a pan because they don't want to make that walk twice. But if the pan is in its vanilla location, you have to make that walk twice. You don't get a choice. Nah. I fixed it. <laughs> the prophecy has been told that my laptop is going to start becoming very mean. So that is another key item for Tybalt, the pan. But we are, in fact, going to get to rape that treasury. Oh, rape that treasury! Boreas, Arm Rod, Hardy Arrows, White Spear, Lunar Staff, Ribbon, Odin, Karate, Defense Sword, Glass Hat, Siren, Bacchus, Dragon Armor, White Shirt, blah blah blah, Murasame, and by blah blah blah, I mean, I couldn't keep up anymore! I believe I saw at least one or two empty chests in there. I think that was just... It was an okay tibble. treasury. Yeah, I, I agree with six. Fist fight, you know, takes a lot out of that treasury, but I like a white White spear shirt. defense out of ten. Which, again, fist if fight. If only we could use it. <laughs> if only we could use it, huh? Mm -hmm. I believe we're now seeing a Zot play, if I'm remembering this Zot map correctly. Yes, you are. The, towers are the two characters you mentioned and the key item yes key item da -na -da 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 -da. We get to see, is are one of our objectives up here? Could we possibly find, for instance, the Dark Elf? Could we get an Adamant or a Legend Sword? Could we get a Rosa? Find out with us now, because I have a feeling this is the only other place Rosa can be. Could be on the Giants. Could be at Giant. the package! Oh, you're right. She could be at the package of the giant, which would be so, so ugly for our runners. So rude. Ah, it'd be great. Anyway. <laughs> probably, probably here, oh, though. Let's, let's be real. Listen, we're not preying on the runner's downfall that often, like, but we need Occupy. We need to keep Chad occupied. We need to keep everybody occupied. Hey, Aaron Lore, how's your food? Since you're back, how's the food? Yeah, you're gonna want to heal up for that, Tibble. Yeah, Tibble. This is what this is why you always be saving, because occasionally you get into a fight and realize, oh right, I just walked through Sylph Cave. Mmm, noodles. Love noodles. A drink. So, Tibble's next move. Hmm. Probably to use the pan go hit uh, Yang and then bring it back because freebies. It's hard for me to imagine a key item from this check that would change that plan. <laughs> I 
Uh, by the way, yes, chat, I do love saying things like this just so that the runners can prove me wrong. I accepted it a long time ago. Don't worry, guys. We're preying on nobody's downfall, down, downfall, downfall at the moment. Just for now. Maybe later. Tibble, Tibble pushing but through enough damage fall. to skip the uh, explode, which is always nice. Nutella, Nutella, if you will. Mm, yeah, I think we're. I think they agreed to that Nutella in this party. No tell on this. I love this. But now we know that Dwarf 2 could possibly be a sparkle. Well, it is a sparkle, but what's the sparkle? Ogo Pogo. We haven't seen Ogo, we haven't seen Wyvern, and we haven't seen Plague. The spooky there... bard and Tella together. Seems only fitting that Edward is there. It, it Tella does. Do Tella punishing. Edward. Edward knows what he did. In fact, if you've played the vanilla, you know what Tella blames Edward for. You know what he did. <laughs> you know what they did. So, uh, yeah. the only places Rosa can be now are behind the package and on the giant. <laughs> <laughs> the freest. The King Queen Eblin. Someone you'd rather see on the giant. All right, y'all, get your bets in. My Where money is, is on the package. My money's on the package. I was just going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> My money's on the giant. I want it to be so I want those bosses to be ugly. I want the bosses to be ugly, but I'm not preying on their downfall. I just want it to be ugly. I mean, is it really Where's bad it? if it's the package? Uh, I mean, really. if they have to find the package, and goodness knows where it is. That's all. Here's where it comes out, guys. I ate the package, and it tasted very smoky. Oh, that, that this just... This is why I told y'all to get the snacks. Paprika. The paprika made it smoky. I'm sorry. I, I kind of... I wanted to season the package, but it seems to have exploded with flavor. Or at least it has the potential of doing that. But here we go. We have, speaking of the package, wow. We manifested you know? that thing a little too hard, guys. <laughs> a little bit. So check one more key on him for Tibble. Guys. Maybe Tibble does just head straight over there and make the character check instead of the pants. Who is it? Who is it? What is it? Why is it? How is it? Where is it? <laughs> it's, it's <Leo. laughs> Oh, she's on Okay, the so sure. Ooh. So bad news, uh, Rosa is on the giant. The good news, uh, we have a Fusoya. You know what? To get a foo? For a foo, this is worth it. But now we get to see the beautiful name to this foo. Mop. Look at it, guys. Look how beautiful it is. It's a mop. <laughs> mop. Man, he's having a titan on us. Youch. There's the foo woo emoji in chat. Yep. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it to chat. Plus, the mic would probably the mic would well, probably never pick do, up. The do noise what? Anymore. Do what? I'm ashamed to admit that I almost do a perfect replica of the uwu sound. Oh, uh, but doing it with foo, so you know foo woo. Foo -woo? Hey, y'all <laughs> want it? <laughs> a little. <laughs> My voice cracked. <laughs> that is working his way through D Lunar's Tibble, waiting to see who's going to wander into the inn. 
Uh, someone has requested the commander do a fuwu. I've had a lot of things requested. Oh, it's hard to go! It is. Wow. Packages like, are hard required. <laughs> oh, well, not hard required, no. But, oh, I'm just imagining a world in which this was someone other than Fu. Like, like, no seriously, way. if that was Edward of that package, we all know that Tybalt resets. He's not walking through this not most likely. He's not walking through this nonsense on the off chance that Dark Elf is there. So th this could have been extremely spicy in slightly different circumstances. <laughs> now fine. There, I did it. It's done. If you weren't paying attention, too bad you missed it. Moving on. We all did our ubus today, guys. Rydia Collar, you're next. <laughs> One of us. One, <laughs> One of us. <laughs> I love how I love but how that this means, is at least a nice and relaxed race. Yes. But that means that Sybil now has three objectives done, as he has defeated the Dark Elf. Five out of six. Either fight the throne or get the Rosa. Or do the altar. Or forge. So we're at four of six. Are we at three of six or four of six? We're oh, at three. Silly. Tybalt is at three out of six. Come oh, on. It will live forever on you on the YouTubes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Commander. You're kind of stuck there. Yeah, it is what it is. We'll, we'll all clip it on YouTube and send it to you randomly throughout the day. You'll never forget it. But yeah, as Aaron Lore's yeah, pointing out, yeah, five out of six are available. Yeah. We yeah, five of the six are available, and we either Wait, need we to. We forgot Dwarf Castle. Well, technically, that has a character. Eh, that's a character. Probably it's probably not Rosa. I'm sticking to it. It's not gonna Rosa. be Rosa. <laughs> Rosa's on the giant. Wherever Rosa is, we have access to that objective. We also have access to the Murasame altar, and we have access to the. Baron Castle, we're technically in go mode. Commander Ulu for Kiora's phone. I literally just. I am down for that. I am down for that. I am down for that. I literally just did what I'm putting in chat now. The face fall. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. It's me. <laughs> it only makes sense because you're now Squall Leonhardt to all of us. Meh, whatever. Squall, I talk to walls, Leonhardt. <laughs> I tell other people to talk to walls. There's a difference. Bye, Valvalis. Bye, Valvalis. Valvalis, meet Nuke. Everyone, meet Nuke. That's just that's just what it is now. <laughs> what shall we see? What is it? Not a Rosa. 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 Cecil. Vindicator. She's on the giant, y'all. She is on the giant. <laughs> there it is, guys. The no pro. Eh, just nuke it. It's a spicy nuke rope. This is not a spicy nuke rope. Notice that the water isn't even hitting food. Forbidden noodles. So the reason the magic power is strangely low within this specific part of the game is because we have to make sure that you can live with only Cecil and Rosa in the vanilla game. Hi, Ogopogo. It was nice seeing you. Yeah. The dragon, for plot reasons, eats everyone but Cecil. And if your timing is really good, Kane will be jumping and he can survive. And then Rydia comes in and heals you and saves everybody. And you're expected to deal with that Golbez with just Rydia and Cecil. 
Just smack Unless the you hand. Were everybody like me. Just smack the hand. Just, no, oh, the hand no is so hand. That's something I always question yeah. in the vanilla game. <laughs> they were they could have grabbed that hand. Right? Like they just could have grabbed of... that entire Golbez arm. But they did not There are a lot of things to question about the vanilla game, such as why do you keep trusting Kane? Anyway. Um. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, look at his face. He's got a very trustable face. No, he does. <laughs> He's like wearing a helmet. <laughs> He's wearing a helmet. You can't see his face, but you can in the after years. It's true. You can. Got some killer eyeliner, guys. Some real nice <laughs> eyeliner. Hey, I, I do not knock a guy for eyeliner game because I can't put it on to save my life. So that's a skill in itself. In the midst of all of these Cecil's shenanigans, the Tybalt did get Pain the legend Cecil's sword from Dwarf. So that's another key item for Tybalt and halfway to the forging objective. What are you thinking there, Dolphus? It's a pinball who killed that bonk. Mm, that that anti berserk armor. Yay. Mm, yes, anti berserk <laughs> armor. He's a Chad behind that helmet, majestic blonde hair. It, it, it is some majestic blonde hair, you're not wrong. You see the hair in the vanilla game, just not the face. <laughs> Because we're not allowed to see his face. We're, we just don't have that permission because Kane's shy. He wouldn't be shy around Rosa, though. Yeah, well. He'd be showing off that, <laughs> those locks. Kane! Much, much to his frustration, <laughs> Rosa's heart is only for Cecil. I was about to say, Kane, doing, uh, if you're a fan of Demon Slayer, there's a particular character that is stunningly beautiful under a mask. So, <laughs> Kane's doing it before it was cool. Tibble, so that went by real fast, but I think it's a tower key. It went by so fast, I'm not even sure that that's what Tibble got. Yeah, I was trying to catch it too. I saw a key and I was like, wait, is, right? that, is, that, is that the tower key or the master? Okay. Chad, can you help Chat us? Chad has out? confirmed. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I can't confirm that's a tower key because I have the Twitch stream up on my phone and there's delay and I just saw that happen. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I have delay. It's not anyone's. It's, it's, it's my phone doing No, it's on you because I've got the stream on my computer and it's, it's it went by a long time ago. Um, <laughs> oh, it's all me. Don't worry, guys. It's okay. But the news is out. Rosa is lurking on the giant. Will anybody venture to the giant of Babel? Yeah, because if you find the if Tibble finds the adamant first, then Tibble doesn't have to worry about that giant. You can go forge, and then take care of this basement throne, which is what he's doing now. And then head up to the Murasame altar. And not worry about that silly giant. Hello again, Dr. Luggage. Restrict Tela Edge and Fusoya. Makes sense. Eh, Tela's an iffy character. Err. It all bacchused up. Ouch, not me! Them! Over there! Grrr. Listen, y'all, we didn't say the <laughs> quote unquote voice acting would be the best. I've never claimed that. <laughs> I mean, at least it's something. I mean, in my head, I just hear Sid the Sloth and the T-Rex argument whenever they show up. <laughs> it's like, I say I'm a vegetarian, you say grr. I say I'm not into it, you say grr. <laughs> it's not really communication. <laughs> now, 
the fun. real fight. Uh, I don't think this plan was thought out very well. Watch. <laughs> run. My dudes, you cannot run from this battle. Seriously, if you try to run. Uh, not I quite fast run. enough with that Bacchus. I, I always I always try it as well, Tibbles. No time. I wish I had that. I'm joking. No Bacchus swine. Not for you. Goodbye, Dr. Luggage, and hello, Objective. Indeed. Four out of seven now for Tibble, or four out of six, rather. Hmm. All that for just an Artibo. Really, all that just for an Artibo that we can't even use. Right. Tibble playing the song of some people. The sad, it's the sad walk. Somebody has spoken the world's gone wrong. I don't know where that came from. Shed. Oh, wait, hold on. We keep this up, we're gonna get this song. Do it, no. No, I've already taken it and the I'm LC in my head now so it's like somebody once told me a seed that they rolled me had a spicy little flag set <laughs> yeah I'm just gonna go over here in my corner and play <laughs> that in my head now uh, <laughs> gotta be careful guys we can't get us copyrighted we're, we're trying our best guys yeah, DMCA. Those are, no, those are in fact, so the letters tough. I was trying to figure <laughs> out. <laughs> but yeah, Tybalt with a tower key, gonna go make these two checks. Question is, are we gonna see a Penguinator special where he does the super cannon room and immediately leaves? Or is he gonna clear the full tower? Eh, I think he'll just do the super cannon and leave. I was ready to believe that until he saved. Typically, when a runner saves in that room, it's because they want to do top of tower and then have a reset point if it's worthless, so they don't have to walk down. Hey, speaking of the YouTube channel, it's in chat right now, guys. You should totally go check that out because it is phenomenal. Did you miss something? Go back and watch it. It's always oh. available on our YouTube channel. I'd, I'd forgotten when we initially made the hook dive that it was a guard here. So yeah, we're not going to pass up on this. This is too easy. Free fight. They're the best. And since these guys don't have boss bits, you can just throw coffins at them. Look how easy that is. Down they go. And there's a little bit of EXP to go around for the party. <laughs> White Spear. This is why the save point was there. <laughs> Man, if only we could use that white spear. Alright, if only we had somebody that had been trained in the way of the spear all his life. If only. Oh, if, only if only we had someone who knew how to throw things. Alright, that would be helpful too. The thing is, from what I can tell, there's no edge in this seed. And hi, Bygen. How you doing, buddy? Bye -bye again. Yeah, because it is a distinct 10, so that means two characters are not showing up, and Edge, one of them, and the other is who have we not seen? Ridia. 
So Edge and Rydia are taking a vacation. I'm just going to leave that. I'm just going to leave edges. that there. Nothing, nothing else really needs to be said. How edges? Are they taking vacation together, or are they? Or has Zeridia just said, "Screw you! I'm taking my own vacay." You know that. that I, I believe it. I think Zeridia would just not let it happen. She'd yeah. take her own vacay. Let me have the edge cue the sad boy moment because poor Edge, <laughs> single. Poor, poor Kane. He's always been the third wheel. so bad for him. He's always been the third wheel. At least we have a bunch of Kane lovers either in chat or just like in the community in general. Uh, Aaron Lore, that does sound like an edge move. Uh, you're not wrong. You'd do that. Coincidentally, at, my, at your vacation spot, Rudiga, is a ninja. A very desperate ninja. He's in his 20s, and here's the thing. I always thought Edge was a teenager until I looked up his actual canonical age. Right? Because he acts like a teenager. He does. <laughs> and it that. gives me the ick sometimes. He matured a little, a bit. little bit in the after years, but... Yeah, he got a little better. Just a Tibble little bit. did get another key item from that super cannon check. It's the twin heart. Music! I don't think we're going to be seeing any music today, though. But it looks like Tibble might be taking the dive. No, he's not. No, oh, yeah, go ahead. Um, head up to the moon and probably take care of that Murra Sama Ultra. Yeah, from Murra he can do Giant, and then from Giant he can get on the airship and just head right to Teroya to turn in that pass, and then yeah. maybe Z fight suit because we are technically in go mode. Mm hmm You just have to be willing to go through the giant. It's no big deal. Do you wanna go through the giant? Come on, you know you can't delay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm s listen, it's the same rhythm. Waiting it's not there the same by the door. There is no war. Just come on and let's play. Okay. <laughs> We're trying to be creative here, guys. We gotta be as occupying as humanely um... possible. Actually, this is just me. I'm not trying to be entertaining. I'm trying to be entertaining. Oh, sometimes. well. You're, you're sometimes I'm not. You're doing a good job. Good. Love it. Yep. Good. Wow. An apple. An owl, if you will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> An owl. I walked all the, the way boss? down here, and all I got was this lousy apple. That is not knowing that Dark Elf is at the package will be taking a look at this boss. Dark imps. Oh, you want to fight the imps? You want the XP of the imps and you're willing to warp out of this place to get it? Would you like to life glitch the imps? Would you like some more EXP? Apparently. Onward and upward. Quack. Quack, quack. I don't know if I'm allowed to do, like, the actual quack soundboard, but... Uh. Aaron Lord. Aaron Lord, if I'm allowed to, please tell me, because I'd do it. And I shall not, don't you worry. I'm good at- I'm, I can follow those rules. I ain't gonna search for loopholes, cause I don't think there's any loophole possible. The best we can do is our little quack quack impressions. Quack quack. It is a fine morning, and you are a horrible quack. Wait a minute, is Tibble doing monster unboxes or is he just doing random encounters? Uh, Siren encounters for leveling. Uh, double gold dragons is a common choice to summon up using a siren. 
You can throw an hourglass on it, and if you life glitch the first King Ryu that you take out, you get 180,000 XP, if you have at least 10 key items. And he has at least 10 key items, so therefore, good EXP. You know the best part of this wacky coming up? Wind Crystal. Yeah. <laughs> we still gotta do Zeromus, guys. <laughs> do you think we're not doing Zeromus? You're wrong. We're doing Zeromus, and we're gonna make sure it's a good battle. I just gotta wait for that out that for that final dive. Um I don't remember from the screen on the front, but once one of our runners starts going to an altar, we'll know for sure. I entirely don't know. That's the thing. Is it Masa or Mura? Athos instead is showing us a door grind. You don't see this every day. I mean, it can be very nice to do, as long as you don't get insta-killed. What I'm gonna do is, I'm actually going to check this- I might check the seed to confirm or deny. Sure. Our... Alright, our restreamer is letting us know that yes, it is the Masamu- it is the uh, Masamu altar, not the Murasame altar. Yeah, I was okay, checking it. Sorry, <laughs> I just was muted. Um, that's me. Sorry. All good. Don't worry. That's no need to worry. So it's Masamune Altar, which means it's at the top, I believe. No, Masamune is the one at the bottom. It's all at Murasame the bottom. Murasame is the one at the top. It's... Masamune it's Altar. It's always very easy to yeah. confuse them. Yeah. Masamune Altar is the one that makes us go, have we seen the giant yet? I mean, a gauntlet yet? Ooh. Have we seen the giant yet? No. I mean, no, have we, we have not. Have seen the gauntlet yet? Yes. Where was the gauntlet? Gauntlet is in the Fey March. Oh, right, it's in the Fey March because we already fought the water egg and it's a blue rope. Darn. Oh, well. Could be, be Magus sisters. Could be Magus sisters. Wait, we already we've already seen Magus sisters. Aren't it? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what we haven't seen? What a wyvern. Seen. It's true. We haven't seen wyvern yet. We haven't seen a couple of the ugly bosses yet. They could be waiting here to have their fun. And as Aaron Moore points out, it's a lovely witch burn. So, story time! I was running a seed a while back on Restream. It was a sea hero seed, and Edward was the hero. I wander into ordeals, and sea hero means he has to do that fight alone. And a wyvern appears! And it used retreat. It was great. Just use retreat, cause it's because it took pity upon that poor innocent bard. Pretty much. <laughs> I'd be taking pity on a bard too if I pop out the mirror and see that that little guy. Speaking out, just like, oh, what you doing here? I'll leave. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Rydia caller. I don't think we've seen Kanaza. We haven't. That's a very very good pick. Yeah, hug burn. Ugh. Hug. Actually, at the Masamune. Actually, at the Masamune altar, even at the level, any of the level three elementals are bad enough. I believe we we have not seen Mylon and friends, Kenyatso. Wyvern Plague. That's 
four bosses that we haven't seen so far, but what are the others? Hmm. Demist. We haven't seen Demist yet. We have not seen Demist. Could be a little annoying at Masamure, but manageable. Mm. I open my own boss tracker and have a look. And there's a sparkle in the Fey March too, so if there's only two sparkles out there, then that accounts for them. No way. Oh, Timon yeah, has summoned the pink puffs! <laughs> Not to be confused with our newer players, also called pink puffs. The pink puffs here, they don't drop pink tails, guys. You know what they drop instead? Adamant armor. So, it's... It's a running joke that if an adamant armor ever drops on stream, uh, we're going to shut things down. Tybalt got it to happen, but not on a free enterprise stream. We were being streamed on a sister channel at the time. So Tybalt, Tybalt's going to make the attempt. Not surprised. <laughs> what do you expect from him to not make the attempt? They're mini -ed. Oh, it was Dathis that did it off stream. Thank you, Lord Goober. I thought Tybalt had done it. Thank you Tibble. for for fixing that. <laughs> Tibble, you know what to do. I know you know what to do. So yeah, guys, if we get sh if we get shut down, uh, it's because Tibble got the adamant drop. Blame Tibble. Yeah, just blame Tibble. It's not our fault. Them's the rules. If they drop on stream, we gone. We haven't it's seen the whole piece out. Oh yeah, we haven't seen the wall. We also haven't seen karate, which you know that would not be that mm. impressive. Just yeah. ouch. What shall it be? Is it the adamant drop? Roughly no five adamant and... drop. No we're drop saved. at all, in fact. <laughs> we're saved. You ain't losing us anytime soon, chat. Don't you worry. Five per fight. One in 64 chance each to drop it. What are the odds of getting the adamant drop? 63 over 64. One minus 63 over 64 to the fifth. Oh, wait. You wanted a better answer than that? <laughs> You've got a calculator. You know how to use it? <laughs> no. Oh, no, well, I don't. It's a problem. I know. Well, there he is. Mylon and friends. Are we sure it's one out of 64? Because <laughs> that Matthew comes out. Are you sure it's not one out of 256? Because if it's it one out of. One out of if it's one out of 64, it comes out to about a 7.5% chance. And I feel like that would have hit a long time ago. Okay. Oh, thank you, Lord Goober. I thought there was more to it than that. <laughs> okay, so one out of 64 for a drop, and then the drop itself has a 1 in 256 of being the actual armor. All right. I can buy 8.5% or 7.5% for the chance of getting a drop, given the number of times I've seen Ninja Stars or whatever the common drop is show up. Yeah, it was Ninja Stars. If only, it, it, I think it'd be funny if on live we got to see that on this actual channel and not a sister channel. I mean, someday we will. Through the dedicated efforts of Tybalt, Bathus, and various other memers, someone someday will drop it. I feel like Poss, I feel, I feel like something Possum would do. He'd try it on stream and get it on stream and then we'd be gone. <laughs> We'd all be taking the day off, guys. We'd be taking our break. 
Yeah, but is it 1 in 64 chance just to have a drop, or does each one have a 1 in 64 chance of triggering the drop, which then has a 1 in 256 of being the adamant? How does that part of the code work? You need these answers, questions answered if you want to figure out the odds. A crystal sword that we cannot use. And there is our Masamune altar done. We are at five out of six objectives. And the only, and I'd say the quickest check we could probably do right now is most likely giant. Yeah, agreed. You just go and take your medicine now. And thank you, Frith. About one in 250. How annoying. Well, the problem with any key item hunt is that you know roses on the giant whereas every key item is a guess. But when you've got officer soldiers at the ribbon room, you take this fight for the XP. <laughs> mm, EXP, tasty. So, looks like Dathis is bringing the pan to Sheila. Or maybe this is just the... Oh no, the Dathis is getting the pan right now. Okay. I'm always sitting there just like, I can, I can hear the face calling from here, just like... Sheila. <laughs> she wants to make sure we have our steps in, guys. Okay, so it ended up being 1 and 235. Because, right. Because Ooh. the... Okay, so we've got a magma key for Tybalt. We can add that to the key item count. And a Masamune um. sword, which is just there. Right, Frith, because we there's can something get weird. Now. Anyway. Yeah, because FF4 does weird things with percentages, like the table it uses for percentages doesn't assign an even 1% chance to every number. So there's a weird weighting on the way it pulls numbers, I think. I don't know if that comes into play, though, with that, because of the way it. Um, yeah, because that's not even a percentage check. But I'm guessing that somewhere in there, the RN, the random number generator, or pseudo-random number generator for the drops is a little off, and why it ended up being a 1 in 235. But here's our turtle, which means we're down to a couple possible giant bosses. And that list includes Wyvern, Plague. That's two so far. Uh, uh, uh Bygan? We've, we've already seen Bygan. Bygan was at Super Cannon. Oh, okay. Evil yeah, Wall. Yeah, Evil Wall. <laughs> evil Wall. <sighs> <laughs> oh, chat. Look what you've done. Yeah. Uh... Yes, we do know where the sparkles are, we just don't know which one is which. So, no sparkles on the giants. Aw, oh, man. Antlion! So we haven't seen Mandibus yet. Antlion! Oh my goodness. We've seen Leg. Yes, we've seen Leg. Leg was at back attack. Come on, Antlion. You know where you know what to do. <laughs> so, Antlion. People probably know that sometimes Antlion likes being on the moon. But this time he's a little bit halfway there. He's on the giant this time. He's or gonna just... say hello to us this evening. Or afternoon. just not appearing in the seed. There's one boss on vacation every time. The union rules. I wonder who's taking vacay. Well, we haven't seen karate yet either. We haven't seen either. Leviathan. Right. So Leviathan, karate, and antlion. Two of those should be on the giant, and the third then would be our boss. But we haven't seen all the moon bosses yet, so there's got to be some other options. Ooh, wait. Yes, indeed. Dark Knight Cecil. Dark Knight <gasps> Cecil. See. Oh, hey, man. DKC at CPU. Oh, it's glorious. 
<laughs> Come on, DKC. Come on, DKC. Come on, make it funny. Make it funny. You got a job. You got a job to do. Do it. The giant is teleported from the moon. So technically, technically, Antlion was on the moon and is now Angie. Antlion yeah. in DKC. There it is. Antlion. There's our Antlion. <laughs> Yay! Oh, was DKC at Waterfall, Gretham? Oh. Darn. Oh, <laughs> Wanna cry in the background, guys, don't worry. You're not gonna hear it. You're not gonna hear anything. <laughs> I know we saw Odin. Yeah, we saw we've seen Odin. Uh the Walk magic at this the spot yeah. is not impressive. They don't want to ruin you with the elemental spells, so they, yeah, they do. made it on the soft side. And counter is based on um, magic power. See there? Yeah, 320. We don't care. Well, alchemy. <laughs> Should have seen this one coming. <laughs> Should have seen her coming. Because she's uh... on the giant. And she's here to cause issues. We're almost, we are very close to the two hour mark for this scene. Mm-hmm, getting there. Wow. Six objectives can Bart take time. <laughs> rude, any rude boss remaining for CPU? That's what we're trying uh, to do. We haven't seen Demist. We haven't seen Karate. Neither of those are super rude Leviathan. in CPU. Leviathan's not that rude either. The ice twos will hit like a truck, but you can either play life roulette or you can put up a star veil. Life roulette. I love playing life roulette. What are you talking about? Sounds like a fun game. Evil wall. That's yeah, question. evil wall. Evil, okay, evil wall could we've be. We've seen elements. Yes, we've seen elements. I can remember bosses sometimes. You're doing a better job of it than I am. Oh, don't worry. I'm not this good, usually. <laughs> I try. This is, this is boss is just... This game is just a lot easier to remember bosses for. There's the Blarg. At Asura. Oof. Blarg. But what is the Witchburn? Dong. Does nothing. Fine, Sable. You know what you know. What you gotta do. Uh, uh, <laughs> Onward. Are we gonna see a countdown at CPU? We might see a countdown at CPU. It's my fault. Uh, no, plague. I think is at um. What's the other? We've seen another sparkle, haven't we? Another sparkle spot. Care. K value. Yeah, plague. There it is. That's the evil wall. <laughs> the wall. <laughs> okay. Well, here is the wall, everybody. All not right. How many elements? of you wanted wall to be here? It's not as bad as it is at elements because at elements there's um a lot more HP. <laughs> so much HP. So much HP to the point it makes me want to cry. Yeah, I can see that. I see how slow this wall is. Just look how slow. Oh. Sorry, Porum. At this point, I think it's just controller down. Let them do their things. Let them go bonk. Never thought I'd see such a powerful party only using gauntlets. <laughs> Punch. Pa pow. Pa pow. Pa pow. Pa pow. But I kind of think the Z fight isn't going to be too much trouble. I mean, that's about 10k around. That works. Z? All right. Well, we're going to be probably using our pass to get there, so. Who would like to start the Zeromus spiel? 
Go for it. Why why are there Z flags showing up in chat? Why? What is this? So you see, we can't put Zeromus anywhere else in the world. So we have to keep him where he is. Unfortunately in the LST. But there is one thing that we do do to Zeromus. 500 plus sprites in our sprite pool. Zeromus is one of those hundreds of sprites this evening. So, there's many questions people ask. Is the butt cute? Can it do your taxes? Does it have a hat? This evening, since it's now evening, we will find out tonight. Whose butt are we gonna kick tonight? Yep. There is an argument to this. Some Zeroma sprites can be cute. Like Jiggly Miss. Jiggly Miss is cute. An Uwumas. <laughs> oh my god. I'd love to see the amount of sprites we have in the sprite pool, but I don't think any one of us here actually knows the exact number. We just throw out a number. Uh, I don't know anymore. Me either. I've given up. I'd just say there's 500, there's over 500 in Call of Night. Man, look at the level this party. Very nice. Hey, but what you doing there? Look how beautiful this is. Tybalt's looking over Let's everyone's see. agility. He wants to get his anchoring right. Oh, oh my. Come on, this laptop's not going to take a hike on me right now, and I know it isn't. It's not that mean to me. It is. But onward and upward to say hello to our Zeromus. As Dathus works his way through the gauntlet and the fame merge. There's roughly 200 more sprites than harp songs. Oh my my. And here we go. Zeromus. He's a very big mop. Her. Look how big that look how big and overgrown this mop is. Like are those eyes? I suppose those are eyes. I'm sorry, mop. I'm going to forever see this as a giant tent like like the little um Pokemon. The little viney Pokemon. I had the name and now it's gone. Um, I'll figure it out later. A Tangela. Yes! There we go. I will forever see Zero Mrs. Tangela. Good job, good job chat. chat. <laughs> yes, good job, chat. Yeah, I will always see that. I, I just can't unprogram it. That's the eyes. There's its yep. That's fair. We got a <laughs> cyber demon. <laughs> oh my. Where is Doom? Doom is in Latervia. There's a spray teenage years. A no time stamping wow. commander. No, no, no. I grew up in the house that so wasn't gonna let me any play me let me play anything as violent and gory as Doom. So no, I actually have never played Doom. <laughs> well, chat, there you have it. He hasn't played Doom. Very sad. I 
I know, Band right? Number Tasty one. J. No, it's a fair assumption, and technically you didn't say I had played it, you just said it was from my teenage years, which it's a sprite from the same time that I was as a teenager, so, you know, technically correct. Best kind of correct. We see Dolphus here, he's having a bit of a gauntlet struggle there. It's, it's, it's not a friendly gauntlet. Is Case summon on? Yes. Oh no. I already dealt with the wyvern. Legend oh, Sword's waiting boy. for him. What this feels like to me from Dathis is uh, I feel like I'm behind. So I need to make a check that I hope my opponent saved for the end to catch up. Tybalt didn't do it all. And if well, you yeah, want to I know mean, what the next wacky is, it's going to be in the disc. Yeah. I mean, Dathus has no way of knowing that. From where he's sitting and what things look like to him, you know? Yeah, you know, it makes sense. If. Clapper grind. Yeah. If the way through was more traditional, surely Tybalt would have finished by now. Since he didn't, it must. There's a good chance it's this rude thing that he never got around to doing. Uh. This Fey March qualifies. Yeah, I'd say this Fey March very much qualifies as an ugly fight that we're going to see anyway. And it might have the adamant in it. We don't know. But it's, we do know that there's nothing else that could be needed here because Tybalt found the rest of it. Oh, there's the GGs. Yep. Down goes Cyberdemus Cyber goes down. Get your GGs out in chat for Tybalt. And I suspect we'll have Tibble come in and join us very shortly. The official time for Tibble is 1 hour, 53 minutes, and 41 seconds. Oh, I want fight. Commander, no. You know what time Fine. It is. Spears. Oh, what? Anyway. Uh, I do believe you're correct, Aaron Moore. Or some chain leading to it. Like, it could be at Rat Tail or... Because we haven't seen that either. But yeah, one of those will get us to the adamant if it's not there directly. Oh my. What's Dibble doing up there? Uh, probably waiting to be brought in. Who would like to drag him in? Just drag him in by the imaginary collar of his shirt. <laughs> it's interview time. Maybe. And we are now joined by Tybalt. GG's. 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 <laughs> I was uh, sad when I didn't get a drop. <laughs> Yeah, we saw you go for it. Oh, we were waiting. <laughs> oh, we so were waiting for it. Here's the worst part about it for me is that over time for the seed, my audio became desynced. So when I took out the pink puffs, the music still continued to play as it was desynced. I thought I got a drop and showed up nothing. I'm like, oh. <sighs> the streams, the streams life was in your hands for that very moment. Oh man, that was what was that? Heck of a seed, a Rosa on the giant. Because of course, why yes, not? Yes, of course. <laughs> like, we were waiting we, for that. We tried to preemptively put Rosa on the giant, and then you went to dwarf, and it was like, oh right, there's a character here. No, no, yeah. no. Oh shoo. Okay, good. We're not wrong. <laughs> I mean, we're sorry that you have to do the giant. No. Yeah, I have to take out oh. Antlion's way to the to the moon, and then Evil Wall. But at least they weren't reversed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I had a ribbon, so I didn't really didn't care. I mean, yes, it's true. <laughs> it's very true. Mm. 
So Man, no, I... the, the part that I found hilarious is that here's what I want to know, Tibble. Mm -hmm. If instead of a mop at package, it had say been a bard, would you have ever found that dark elf? Nope. <laughs> yep. What a last location that Dark Elf, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, that 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 was the thing that got me when Dark Elf walked in, and I'm like, "Wow, wait a minute! <laughs> I bet he's only here because of that mop." <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like, I got the mic. Like, I'm getting the food. It's replacing Palm, and then I see Dark Elf. I'm like, "Oh, that's just gravy on top." <laughs> Yeah, because we still don't up. Yeah, because I'm still waiting on your um, key item log to show us where the adamant is. We don't know. <laughs> but, and the thing is, is with the spikes that there is no uh, super forge. Like you, the best mm -hmm. you can get out of the forge is the shop for power shirts and Zeus gauntlets. That's it. Yeah, it's yeah. I got a crystal sword. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, insult to injury. I got a crystal yeah. sword. I can't use it, not even for the plus 15 strength. <laughs> no, there was, there, 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 there's so much insult going on here with a lot of these checks. <laughs> right, the like, raiding the treasury. Yeah. Well, normally we'd say 8 out of 10, but realistically. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was bad. It's junk. Uh, it's on the moon somewhere, apparently. Sandra yeah. was rat tail. Yeah, because Dath is just finished turning in the, um, finished clearing out the Fey March, so that wasn't the answer. But. Uh, oh, I miscounted uh, objectives, so I took out the Masa altar. I'm like, no crystal? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let me go see if I can find this Advent Rock. Uh, no, fine, I'll do the giant. <laughs> yes. No, yeah, you were trying real hard not to do the giant, and we don't blame you. There it is. Oh, it's at the, the Murrah altar. So, you know, Tybalt, if you just would have confused your altars, you'd have gotten an adamant. Why don't you confuse your altars? <laughs> Every once in a while, I do. Okay. It's fair. Oh, God. I, as I was walking to to Baron, halfway to the, the Brygan flight, I'm like, wait a second. It was Golbez there. Uh, um... Well, I'm committed now. Oh no, you threw us for a loop. We're like, he's <laughs> taking a random encounter. Does he need X, what? And Nehru was the one that eventually figured out, oh no, there's a Golbez. I'm like, oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. It's now this makes Golbez. sense. <laughs> yeah, it was at that point, it was like, I have to prep my party for Golbez because there are a few people I want to make sure are up. All right. <laughs> And those two were Sid and Yang. Yeah. Nice. Most HP on Sid and Yang has a better strength curve than everybody else, so. I mean, it's like he's the person yeah, that was made for nice. this. I was a little surprised when I looked at the flag set because I saw Yang show up and I'm like, oh yeah, it's this fight. You should start with Yang. And then I checked the flag set and realized, no way, there isn't actually a C start flag. This is just a happy coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 this is what it was. the the best happy coincidence was that zoo scotlet that oh, Golbez yes. gave us. <laughs> yeah, two cat claws and zoo gauntlet on Yang. Yeah. Well, the three Yang kits are going to give you six cat claws like that off right. that great. But yeah. the zoo gauntlet, I'm like, mm -hmm. oh please don't give me this. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't it have to like search for karate belts and headbands. Yeah, right away. <laughs> Oh, wow. Mm. What a way uh. to start off that seed, though. Oh, yeah, it's great. Which then forced me not to, you know, go to Eblin and loot for cash, so I had to spend money wisely. That was the other... Uh... Here, all you have is 10 life pots. Okay. Were, were there cabins somewhere that I missed? There were, but I don't remember where. Okay. But I definitely I call cabins either. purchased. You did at least find I the curse ring in them. the back of nope. the, that was. Uh, I did not find a curse ring. ring in Agart? No, I did. I never touched Agart. Oh well, that was Dathus then. Hey, there's I a curse ring in the Agart armor shop, by the way. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, once I got once I got Fu, it's like okay, I just need some way to get him to twenty eight. He's easy. <laughs> sure. Oh, crap. The Bacchus and Evelyn was nice, but you you, you dealt with it. Oh, the, oh, Azura! I saw Azura right. there. I'm like, I am thankful I did hair dryers to get quaked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I, I'm like, I'm glad I kept Cecil down for an anchor as well. Mm-hmm. Because you... Uh, uh, you mind, don't want to... Did you just double Star Veil her, or did you, were you actually yeah. Cecil in life? Okay. Or did you actually... Yeah, I double Star Veiled her and actually got her into a life lock. Nice. Because that spot is super fast. So, yeah, without uh, anchor in position, yeah. it's just... Really hard to life lock her because you hit her, she does life one, and she says, I'm gonna take another turn. Nah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I double star veiled, and I knew I wanted at least an anchor for the hook crowd because at that point, well, either Magma Key's gonna be on the moon or I've got to go through this hook crowd. Well, I mean, I, I could have, I could have taken on Kanazo at the moon <laughs> for the Magma Key. Yay. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, that seems worse than the hook route. <laughs> yeah. Worse Just a little bit worse. Because I, I saw the sparkle there, and I'm like, okay, I've already seen Pale Dam. That's a one in four. Uh, two of the fights I need Star Veils for. Mm-hmm. Just... Mm. It, it had its bits of rudeness. It, it could have been worse. But, um, you know, I don't think that anyone in chat that wanted showed up hoping for some spiciness was disappointed. Oh, it was a mm -hmm. very spicy seed. I, and then at the end, it's like, I just want a 10 key item, please. Anything. <laughs> Give me something, Twin Heart. Cool. 10th key item. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here's Dolphus finally getting around to that package. And looks like he's gonna take it too for please, the same reason. So hey, please take the foo. Please he's take the foo. He is not uh, set out. Yes. He's taking the foo. <laughs> he still I mean, needs to. He still needs to handle a barren basement and a um, a Masamune altar and a giant. Um, but yeah. Wow. Oh, after the interview, is, I was going to pull up music that, for y'all. Nathan has done time it yet. Other than you did, especially with that book route. And then um, I think got to a point of gambling from behind. He, he yeah, that hook route no, no, is spicy. Yeah, he went for the Fey March and had no joy other than a pink. Oh, tail. I saw the blue robe and I'm like, that's all gauntlet. It was no nope, I ain't. gauntlet. Because <laughs> I saw Waterhead get miscave. Right. <laughs> The the wyvern the was the sparkle and the witchburn was tongue, so so it did nothing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, in case oh, anyone's yeah, wondering, it. the harp song is uh, Aerith's theme, seven. Ooh, nice. Oh, thank you man, for letting us know. What? Tibbled. Although speaking of. Oh, I mean, I'm sure Tibble did, but the stream's not up anymore. Um. Yeah. So, though, speaking of which, um, you you felt the need to taunt us with the job dwarf? <laughs> you thought that was necessary? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Goes into the room, loots everything, leaves, like, oh, wait, let me get, talks to the wrong dwarf, leaves, and then goes back. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> okay, Tibble. <laughs> I see. You. Like, you get, you, I see. You, you gotta have some fun with these wackies. Like, I mean, yeah, it's all about having fun. No. And if if I can mess around with the commentators for me <laughs> racing, I'm a hundred percent for it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, trust me, you messed around with us a little bit, and we also messed around with chat a little bit because we're like that. It's wacky races. We gotta be funny in wacky races. Of course. Play to enjoy it's the our game. jobs. Enjoy the game, enjoy the commentary. Of course. No, I'm not like a pretty okay. straightforward seed. I'm sad that Meteor didn't get to hit Mylon at the end. I was sad about that. No rocks. No Meteor Lawn. No rocks. 
But then the Z fight, it's like, all right, everybody drink wine. Sometimes the ultimate fist fight meme. Drink wine, go burr. Got anything else for me? No, I don't think I do. I don't think. <laughs> Other than, as usual, thanks for running and letting uh, putting on a show for us to have fun with. Yes, uh, indeed. I'm gonna stick around it if if good old Daph is is uh, gonna pop in here real quick. Yeah, you're welcome to hang around. It's wacky comms. The tracker comes in and chats. Occasionally the restreamer. <laughs> so yeah, by all means, hang out if you like. What's Dalthus doing there? He's just vibing. Uh, Dalthus might be done. Might be taking the F, the uh, the FF. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, he has forfeited from the race. Yeah, that's fair. It's been over two hours. <laughs> it was a good run nonetheless. It was a, a rude hook route and some, some spicy checks after. It was Very definitely spicy. a good effort. Very beautiful race nonetheless. Indeed. Yeah. Also very beautiful seeing Rosa on the giant. Which alchemy did not intend to happen. I'll be nice. I'll make sure they have a Rosa. Yeah. Don't yeah. Just normal alchemy things. <laughs> yeah, just alchemy doing alchemy things. What can you do? Cry. That's what you can do. Tears. This can only end tears. in tears. All right, well, I'm out of here. Have a good one, everybody. Mm -hmm. You too, Tibble. Are we getting an interview from... Not sure, but just in case, let's um, start closing it out and, you know, if, if we see a death has hop in, we'll just switch to an interview. It looks as if our raid is RPG Limit Break. So head on over, see what they're up to, and take a look in the Discord to see what other races are being restreamed this week and in the future. But until then, I'm Commander Leonhardt. Thank you, Nehru Liana, for co-commentating with me, Kiora for tracking, and Radia Caller for restreaming. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And, well, stay hydrated, stay fed. You know the routine. Have a wonderful evening.